Hi, this is Daniel Bryant. I'm a motion graphic designer here in the Tampa Bay area. And today we're gonna to be working inside of my favorite program once again, Photoshop. Now, what we're gonna be doing here is using different filters and some different blending modes to make a really cool looking metal background. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna create a new layer, Command Shift N, and we'll call this, let's just call it Pattern for now. And uh, what I'm going to do is fill this with 50% gray. Shift, delete, and we'll go right down here to 50% gray in our dialog box. The very next thing I want to do is select a filter called Color Halftone. Now you'll find this under your Pixelate menu option. And uh, this is a great filter if you wanted to make some really cool looking patterns and such like that. But today we're just going to use it for our uh, background pattern. So let's make it. 40 pixels around for our circles. So depending on the size you want to make this is where you'll manipulate how big you want the circles to be and then the rest of it you just put 10, 10, 10, 10. Let's go ahead and make it 30 pixels actually. We've got a perfectly aligned circle pattern background. Now it's not looking very much like metal quite yet but uh, what we're going to do here is use the information that we were given here to uh, to make our metal start looking more realistic. So all we're gonna do is go into our channels a panel right over here and since this doesn't really have any information inside of it we're just gonna use the black and white areas of this pattern to make a selection. So if I hold down command and click on this red channel now we've selected only the black area of this channel, of the red channel. Let's go back to our layers and we're going to press Command Shift N to make ourselves a new layer. We'll call this gray. Very naturally, while this selection is still uh, selected, we're going to press Shift Delete and fill this layer with 50% gray. Now, if you press Command D, we can select away from that layer. So basically, what we did is we used the black information of this layer to make a transparent selection.